Hey everyone, just as a reminder, we are doing a fourth grade unit on culture and diversity, and we are focusing on Native American culture. All right. Hi everyone, just as a reminder from last time's lesson, we are studying Native American culture. We have studied their clothing and their housing and their religious beliefs. So now, today we are going to talk about totem poles. Totem poles are built from tree trunks of giant cedar trees. And these trees were just found in the forests around their camps and their tribal communities. So, the meanings of the designs on the totem pole vary by culture. As you can see in this picture, which is an example, there are several different pictures and images going up the totem pole. And the height could change depending on each individual person, the number of pictures would change. There wasn't any definition of how it had to be. And the meanings of these pictures could change from each culture, each tribe. So they could tell stories or legends. They could show a family tree. They could tell about not notable events or historical people or events, like a battle that was won. Um, and then some totem poles would be put in front of a house, and that totem pole would show the success of the family in a certain business or a certain trade. But totem poles were never used as an object of worship. People did not bow down and worship the totem pole. The totem pole was more of a symbol. So looking back at our example again, the vertical order of the designs on the totem poles. You can see how each one is stacked to another one. The vertical order of the images may symbolize importance. So the things on the bottom of the to totem pole may be less important than the images that are at the top of the totem pole. We don't know this for sure, but their historians think that that's really important. There are also shame poles. We haven't heard a lot about shame poles because they're just not as common. But there are a few examples that we still have today. And they look like this. It's just a really long pole with this little person sitting at the top of it. And so as you can see in our example, his ears and his nose are painted red. And the red painting symbolizes stinginess because these shame poles were made to shame people or groups of people with unpaid debts. So if you owed someone who lived down the street a lot of money and never paid back the money that you owed, they, somebody would probably put a shame pole in your house or in the community that was meant for you. And everyone in the town would see it and know that you had debts that you had not paid. So this was seen as embarrassment. And we all know that if we're being embarrassed, we want to get out of that situation as soon as we can. So after someone was shamed using a, using a shame pole, usually they would pay their debts pretty quick. And then the shame pole would be torn down and destroyed. That's why we don't see a lot of examples of shame poles anymore, because a lot of people wanted, those, wanted to have those torn down as quick as possible. So, also, totem poles were never maintained after they were erected. People would build them and put them up wherever they wanted them to stand, but then they would never maintain them after they erected it. The wood would rot and eventually it would fall down or it would be torn down if it was going to if it looked like it was going to fall down in the middle of the trail or something it would be destroyed before it could hurt anybody but they would never go fix the totem pole they wouldn't rebuild the same totem pole it is believed that the deterioration is symbolic of the natural processes of decay that happens in life 
So if they were to reverse these changes, it would be seen as they were trying to reverse the natural pattern of life. And the Native Americans were very much against that. They did not do that. So this is why we don't see totem poles that were carved before the year 1900. Because just wood that has just erected and been carved and changed, it, they usually don't last more than 100 years. So this is why we don't see totem poles, even in areas where we know Native Americans lived thousands of years ago. So, just to recap about totem poles, they are built from the trunks of giant cedar trees, and the meanings of the designs on the totem poles change all the time. And they can tell stories and historical events, they can tell about people, about family trees, that they were not worshipped. We also said that the vertical order of the images on the totem pole may be important. What's on the top may be more important than what's on the bottom. We talked about shame poles. Shame poles are meant to embarrass people who owed a lot of money and then would be torn down when the money was paid back. And we also talked about how totem poles were never maintained and rebuilt. Someone may have built a new totem pole after their old one fell apart or fell down, but they would not rebuild the same totem pole because they didn't want to reverse the natural process of life. If you have any questions, I will answer them in our lesson tomorrow. Thank you so much. Have a great night.